morning. Welcome to Healthy Talks with Letitia Jackson, your healthcare lady. And today we are here to promote being healthy, happy, and insured through conversation, promoting entrepreneurship and career-driven individuals, and the importance of having a healthy lifestyle for your mental health, your physical health, your spiritual health, financial health, and so much more. And today we do have a special guest, uh, Miss Sean Turner, is with us on today. So I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us on our podcast on today. I just decided to learn more about you. The more I talk to you, the more I'm so intrigued. And so you all will be intrigued as well. So Sean, if you don't mind, tell everybody who you are and what do you do? Um, well, I'm Sean Turner. I am a serial entrepreneur and I'm a full-time agent with Vivian Mutual. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yes, I'm always on motion. Wow. And so, are, are you having any kids? You married? Mm -hmm. I have two little ones. Okay. Um, I've been divorced now for two years. Okay. We still have a beautiful co-parenting relationship. Good so deal. I love it. I love it. Just been in that healing process, so it's really good. Though. That's good. That's, that's pretty important where you can where you you can still co-parent and have a good relationship. So that's 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 good. That's a healthy relationship there. That's good. And so your serial entrepreneurs, so we're finding a package what mm -hmm. that looks like, okay? So what all businesses do you currently have right now? I own three now. My oldest baby is Pretty With a Purpose Photography. I've had that now for about four years. Okay. And then I have Polar Bear Ice. That is the concession trailer that's open year round. Mm -hmm. And I've had that now for a year. Okay. And then I have PNC Properties. I just started that this year. And this time next year, Lord's Will will be purchasing property, rental property, wow. and have available. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, Sir Entrepreneur, so you got your hands in, the, in different areas. And so, uh, how is that? Is that easy to even manage? Mm, I feel like it can be. It okay. is what you make it. And I feel like it's not so much as, we know cliche, it's not work when you enjoy what you're exactly. doing. Exactly. And that is the truth. Like, I love being an insurance agent, mm -hmm. you know. So, I do that from 7 to 3.30. Okay. And then outside of that, that's that's my time. Okay. Where I'm going, you know, head to head, trying to be my own digital creator, content creator. Right. And I do have a graphic design. I do have advisors and people like that. So, I do have a team. And that okay. makes it helpful also. So I can't say I'm just handling all this by myself. Like I have really supportive people in my corner that, you know, help this help this movement move. Right. Know? So you said a whole lot. And I'm mm -hmm. gonna unpack everything that you just said, okay? So you said you also is an insurance agent. Mm -hmm. So what type of insurance do you um do you sell? I do a uh, home, auto and motorcycle. Wow, and you and you have your own agency. You work mm -hmm. under. I work under Liberty Mutual. Liberty Mutual. Yes. Well, how long have you been doing insurance for? Uh, now for about three years. Three years. Uh -huh. Okay, do you like it? I do. I love it. I love it because I like having those teachable moments with clients. Because everybody knows you got to have insurance by exactly. law, but nobody really knows what you're paying for. You exactly. don't know what you're getting. You just know you got to have it. Right. So I love having those moments where we get to break it down, and you really have a full understanding. And then you have the clients that come over. We get to save them some money. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes save some pennies. Exactly. So I like to be <laughs> that medium, but and be like, well, yeah. Like we got to say you two hundred dollars a day, so just see the excitement in their face, and you know, just to have those moments with them to to know that they have an agent that's it's personal, right? Like I have my own line, so you can call me like any day. Okay, so you can get the same person, mm -hmm. right? Right. Call away and right. Right. Somebody different. right. That's right. very important to have a customer experience. So, right. did you always want to just sell PNC insurance? I've always been had a natural flair for sales in general. Okay. And I actually started with Progressive, and mm -hmm. I was with them for a while. And then Polar Bear Ice Head came around that time. Okay. And so I decided, well, okay, you know, I'm just going to step away. Let me go full time into my own thing. Right. And, you know, I left about it gracefully from Progressive. <laughs> and um, I started Polar Bear Ice. Like I said, it was going to be a full time thing. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, as some people may know, like it was a, a, a tragedy. You know, I was robbed. It kind of set me back a little bit. I ain't going to say a little bit. It no, set me back like, a lot of it. Yeah. What yeah. happened? Like I had um, my trailer. I wasn't even open a whole month, mm -hmm. you know, and I had a commercial spot down on, was it South Gloucester across from Popeye? Okay, yes. Yeah, I was down there and y'all literally wasn't even a month. I was up there three weeks and I left my trailer on my commercial lot nightly. Because mm -hmm. of course, I'm thinking, me 
getting robbed. Like, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So you're not thinking them like that. You just know what you're supposed to do, locking up and going on. And one day, three weeks after grand opening, literally three weeks, I won't forget, September 22nd. And I pulled up, and the back door was, like, wide open. And I knew my mom, I'm like, no, no, I ain't left this door right. open. Like, what? And I stepped foot in the trailer, and I'm telling you, I just lost my mind because everything was gone. Wow. And it was intentional because they took the shave ice machine, they took the snow cone machine, and they took the ice cream machine. So that was the heart of the business. So it was, it was so personal. I'm like, right. oh, who? And still to this day, I have absolutely no clue to my stuff. So how long did it take you to get... Over ice off the ground with mm-hmm. the planning and the name and getting the equipment. What type of work did it take you to get there and then to get it snatched away? Like that's heartbreaking. But what is, what, what's the process like when you started this business here? The process was it was extensive. For me, it took two years. And you'd be like, oh, two years went long. But it is long when you put forth like so much energy, so much money, so much time, right. so much dedication yes. just to have a snatch up in three weeks. Right. So we're talking about, you know, taking 24 months away in three weeks, literally. And it was like, wow. And it took so much financially just to get the door open. Mm-hmm. I let the business insurance go. Mm-hmm. So without that, you really have nothing. Exactly. I couldn't call nobody. The police didn't have I like cash, you know. Yes. So it was like, wow. I see you. What do I do? And you know, I was, it sounds crazy now, but I was in there screaming in the trailer. I was like, God, I trust you. God, I trust you. God, I trust you. I was just crying. Yeah. And shaking my hand. And the police, you know, he peeked in there. like, you okay? My grandma's like, leave on. <laughs> <laughs> but I had really just lost my mind for a second. And But the moment that I was praying and crying, I realized, why are you worried? You know, mm-hmm. you pray and you say you trust God. Right. What's, what's the issue? Right. It's the small things that I'm going to get back to you. Not only am I going to give it back to you, I'm going to give it to you double. Mm, I love it. You're going to give it to me double. And I love it. That. They robbed me that Wednesday. Yes. God had gave it all back Saturday. Wow. I had a brand new generator. I had a brand new shaved ice machine. I didn't do the ice cream because we decided not to do that, you know, as a whole because mm-hmm. there was nowhere to really store it after the business was over because okay. it was a mobile. So I decided not to do the ice cream, but everything else was, it was a place. I'm talking about double. I got it. Wow. So what would you tell someone? Because you went through two Man. years of planning to open. When you opened, it was taken from you. Yeah. And I'm sure so many people got the same story. Someone took from me. They stole from mm-hmm. me. They took my idea. They took my identity. They ran with it. What yeah. type of advice would you give somebody after a major setback? What advice would you give them, like, how to, how to overcome the hardship in that area? Well, as far as I would start off, I don't want to force my beliefs on anybody, but my mm-hmm. religious beliefs tells me that, you know, if you pray, don't worry. Yes. So we'll start there. You know, if, if you really truly believe in the power of prayer, you truly have that connection with God. I mean, after a while, it's just like, all right, God, I, yes. I, see, I, I see you moving. So you really have to go off of, of faith in, in those instances. You mm-hmm. really do. And then after that, it's really time to put in the work. Right. You got to put your plan together. But hey, I know I don't have this insurance. Mm-hmm. I know it's time to get on some type of, you know, my right. ass is going. So what can we do now? What can we do now? And I had a, um, I have a partner. That's my ex-husband. Okay. And he drives trucks. So, you know, he came in. He was like, okay, we're going to figure it out. And like I said, we just went and purchased everything all over again. Wow. We didn't have a choice, but we didn't have insurance exactly. at the time. So we just purchased everything over again and just took some different measures as far as security, you know, moving mm-hmm. forward. Got cameras and stuff all over the trailer. Like, you got the insurance now. Right. Right. Exactly. You, the insurance now. <laughs> you know, so all of that was just a learning lesson, you know, just starting off. Because like I said, I was just so excited and anxious to get open and show the world, hey, this is what I yes. got. I want y'all to see it. I want yes. you to have it. But not realizing the downside that could possibly come with it. Yes, you you find something very important because when mm-hmm. we're starting something, we are excited. Right. We're ready to go on the right. ground. We're ready to show the right. world we got. We're ready to right. sell, make money, and you know all those yeah. good things. But you got to stop and right. you got to plan for the what ifs and the and the what nots, right? right? right. And so, right. as a business owner or entrepreneur, you got to get all that in order. You do. You got to get all that in order. Uh, having the insurance or having the liability or right. whatever you needing because you never know when you're going to have a setback. Right, absolutely. So I'm mm-hmm. glad you made a bounce back. And so now it's all of their ice is off the ground and trying to do it great. It's moving. It's moving. Yeah. It's moving. I see you got a billboard up now. Mm-hmm. I do. <laughs> I got a billboard, y'all. Yeah. That's the Congratulations. Polar Bear Ice. I had one last year, but it was for Pretty With a Purpose. Okay. So that was my first ever billboard okay. last year. 
But this year, like I said, we have um, packages for Polar Bear Ice to mm-hmm. provide during the colder months. Okay. You know, okay. we offer warm treats now. We got, you know, nachos, barbecue nachos, hot dogs, popcorn. Okay. All kind of goodies that, that can serve during the cold months. Okay. So, I was like, well, why not just really promote the mm-hmm. events, you know? And so, that's what I've been doing. And it's been great. We've had daycares. We had churches. Yeah. We had birthday parties. And it's all within a month time. So yeah. You know, I was going to ask promoting. you, are you doing retail? But if you going to locations mm-hmm. as well for yes. birthdays and retail? Absolutely. That's, you Absolutely. know what? Plan a birthday party. That's a good way of just saying, yeah. just go and get the services. Yes, yes, everything. <laughs> yes. Everything. And then we have a music box, so we play the kids box. So you got your okay. entertainment, you got your food, like you got everything right there. And wow. there's no really cleanup because we got the garbage can for you. Just mm-hmm. you know, throw it away and we go on. But yeah, we like to create a nice vibe for everybody, That's no matter good. what the occasion. So, your two kids, do they help out on, on them? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yes. They, do, they do that. Yes, those are my best employees. Okay. Yes. Do you mm-hmm. hear me? Peyton, that's my oldest. She's 11. When I say she gonna, she gets right into it. Like, we know the process of, you know, starting up, putting the flavors out, go through mm-hmm. cleaning. Like, she knows the startup process, open the process. My youngest, you know, she got her script now. I'm looking for guys. What can I get you? Okay. You know, she's just five. So it's just exciting. That's why I brought them here tonight because I, I love to show them, right. you know, the whole process of being a business owner. Right. Like to show them the importance of these small personal moments like this and how it does really build those, you know, connections and networking and everything. How yes. important it is. So every meeting, every business meeting, if they allow my babies, y'all come on here, mm-hmm. get your pull of ice straight on, and get free <laughs> with a perfect straight on. Like, let's go. But that gave me chills because as an entrepreneur, you have the ability to bring them with you, bring them to work with you right. so they can see what mama is doing right. Right. and hoping that when you instill that in, in them, right. so that they have the entrepreneur spirit as well. Right. And so hoping when they're getting out, out of school, mm-hmm. their minds are on another level to right. bring it to a different level to Absolutely. promote ownership. Yes, that's very that. important. Ownership mm-hmm. is everything. So that's really cool that, that you do that. I met them and there's some Cute girls. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And so, from Polar Bear, so you also have your your, your a photography mm-hmm. piece. The name of it again is Pretty with the Purpose. Pretty with the Purpose. Mm-hmm. So, what what that? How did the name come up? Mm-hmm. It really was. It started out as I used to do make tutus. Oh, and stuff oh, like okay. Okay. Yes, I used to do tutus and the shirts and everything. And I've always had a love for photography. I started with Talon Photography inside the mall. Okay. And I was there for a while. And he relocated uh, somewhere else, and he kind of wanted me to travel. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't in a position to do that because I had just had my oldest baby. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, well, no, but I still want to do photography. You know, I went to school for it and everything. I'm like, dang, I never really got to tap into it. You know, something that I got my, went to school for, you know, I had the experience for, but I never really, you know, utilized anyway outside of school. Right. So I was like, dang, I really want to do it, but I can't drive back and forth to Hattiesburg, you mm-hmm. know? So I was like, you know what? Let me just start my own thing. Okay. And I already had Pretty With a Purpose. So I was like, why not Pretty With a Purpose Photography? I love it. And then that was me. You know, that was me. I felt pretty and I feel like I've always had a purpose. Right. And so I just kind of went hand in hand. I was like, you know what? Pretty With a Purpose Photography. So everything just kind of clicked. Like everything just kind of fell in alignment and it happened. Yeah. You talk about purpose, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I'm a person who push purpose, yeah. understanding your purpose, understanding yeah. why you're here, understanding if, why you designed right. on this earth, what has God designed you to do right. purposely, and so you say pretty with a purpose. I, I feel like you understand what your purpose mm-hmm. is as well. You That's mind sharing what your purpose is, and yeah. and how how did you discover that that was your purpose? Mm. I feel like. It's always come naturally for me. And my purpose has always been been to serve and mm-hmm. to be a light for others. Because I feel like everybody gets to the point where we're so adamant about achieving our goals. And sometimes we kind of get the big head, but not realizing that we still have a purpose to serve. Like, right. I'm no better than you. Just with our tax break is different. <laughs> we still hit. I we love, love it. I love like, it. We still hit. We still going to this exactly. dirt at the end of the day. Exactly. And so I just, I just try to keep that humility about it because you really go further. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just knowing that, that your purpose is servitude, it, it helps everything. Right. Like, you know, comes to fruition because you're like, well, God, I, I want to serve you. Show me what I should be doing. Mm-hmm. Show me how to, you know, utilize these gifts so I can be a blessing to others. And so I feel like just starting just at that level as just 
made me flourish in so many right. ways. So I'll continue to do that. I'll continue to serve. I'll continue to be, you know, available for people that may not be as fortunate right. financially, whatever it was. You know, we did the coat drive and that had a big thing. I had mm -hmm. made a post about, you know, if children needed coats to reach out to me. You mm -hmm. know, if a child needs a coat and that was great. And people didn't know, like, I felt even better because I was in a position yes. to do that. So it's just a really good feeling. And it's always a great feeling to be able to give. It and is. I love it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You give, like, for me, when I'm able to give, it just gives me joy on the inside. Right. Like, like, you can't right. take that away right. from me. Right. It's right. not about the publicity behind it. It's right. not about being in the spotlight. It's right. about truly giving back. Right. Being a servant. So I love right. that. And so when even when you said... What happened to your polar bear truck? Mm -hmm. You said, nope, I'm going to keep pushing right. forward because you understood the purpose of what That's you're right. doing. And I tell people, in business and in life, right. when you understand your purpose, like down to the T, mm -hmm. no matter what you go through, right. you're going to be able to jump back up. No way. That, that knocked me down. No, I stumbled. I didn't That's fall. It. I stumbled That's a little bit. That's it. And now, you know what? Okay, let's go. Right. No, I right. make me stronger. Exactly. We're back and stronger again. So. That's I do love that. So, do you do like individuals, birthdays, families on your pictures? Or? Yeah, absolutely. We do um, location sessions where we come directly to you. Okay. We have multiple locations to use from two floor to all around the city. Okay. If you have something that you want personal in your home, mm -hmm. you know, that's all a part of the location session. We do those as well. And we do events, you know, parties, baby showers, graduations, you know, and we also have the wedding and reception packages okay. too. So, we real diverse. We trying to get it all in there. It's <laughs> important to you, important enough for you to capture those moments. Exactly. I want to be there. I you got know. you. Wow. All right. And then we want to you your other business. Yeah. So you said you started your uh, Peacock PC. It's PNC. PNC. Mm -hmm. PNC properties. Properties mm -hmm. where you're looking to in investing. Yeah. So can we talk a lot about more about that because yeah. uh, I've been in these meetings mm -hmm. who are doing really well for themselves and. And, you know, they try to find a way of how you can grow mm -hmm. money long term. Right. Also, too, how you can, I'm not going to say that, but how, how you can do other things with your money, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and so, when I learned an investment into mm -hmm. property versus, especially, um, mm -hmm. you know, and people talk about property. Oh, you know, it's going to skyrocket. It's going to keep you more and more expensive. I mean, but if you never, you know, jump in, then that right. point is the right time. Right. And so I feel like right now, to me, creating that generational wealth is most important to me. So I want to have stuff that I can pass down, you know, value that mm -hmm. my babies can, can reap from, you know, in the long term. That's what's most important. And so I was like, well, okay, I'm going to start buying some houses, you mm -hmm. know. And I wanted to, my goal is to get a, um, a multifamily property first, you know, mm -hmm. maybe a little duplex or a fourplex right. and go from there. But just really studying and doing your own homework, you know, get you a get you a realtor that's not so invested on just making a sale. I love it. Get you a realtor that's truly invested in you as a person and you, your goals. You know, shout out to Rosemary in Washington. My I know Rosemary, okay. okay. Shout out to Rosemary in Washington. <laughs> But he's the one that I'm talking about, like motivation on on another level. Okay. Because he really shows you that hey, this is attainable. Like we go, I was just so misinformed, so misguided, mm -hmm. just didn't lack knowledge. Period. Like he put me all the way on game. He was wow. like, you know, you really just need a six twenty, you know, to do such and such. Mm -hmm. And here I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you need eight hundred. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, so just having all this misinformation or not having the information. Period. I think puts a lot of fear in us. Right. And so, first thing I would say is just obtain as much knowledge as you can. Get as much books, real estate. I got one that's um, investing for dummies. I got mm -hmm. another one called, you know, real estate for dummies. Okay. Like all those little four dummies books, they're, they're so so filled with knowledge. And I love it. I enjoy reading. Okay. And, you know, whatever you can find on the internet, I definitely say verify with your realtor. You know, verify with somebody that is trained and licensed in that field. Right. And write down questions. Whatever questions you have, I can firm believe in writing stuff down, journaling. Mm -hmm. You know, some come to your mind. Keep your little notebook close to you. Right. Write it down. Ask. You know, I call them or text them like early in the morning. You know, <laughs> I'm like, wow, it's like I got a question. I text real quick. Like, can you answer this? Or do I need such and such? And here, like, he, he's real good. Come in. Communication is key. Mm -hmm. I say that too. When you find a realtor, find someone that is willing to communicate with you. Of course, we know people get busy. Exactly. I understand yeah. that. So it may not be, you know, right there. Right. right. But as long as I know that I'm heard, I'm noticed, and you're going to get back to me, like, right. I value that. 
And so that's just, that's important to me. Like I said, do your research, get you an a awesome, awesome realtor on um, communication side, one that is knowledgeable, and mm-hmm. one that's not, like I said, just so invested on making the money. Right. So what has the process been like? Is it, you know, a long, drawn-out process, or? It really isn't. It okay. really isn't. It's been, most of it has just been things on, on my own, you know, making mm-hmm. sure I maintain the credit score that I need. Mm-hmm. You know, you always want to have, enough funding in your account because you got to show that you can pay at least right. you know your first month's mortgage and your insurance so just making sure that i'm at a, at a constant space you know financially of growth so that i can be in a comfy position right. when i'm ready to purchase right. that's one thing that you know show hey i can pay the first month bill but it's mm-hmm. another thing to have that cushion to know but when i buy it what if the air do go out exactly you know what i'm saying exactly. like if i buy it what if this toilet do go exactly out? So my thing was just not making sure I had that, but having an excess, or at least a little bit of, you know, surplus of what I really need. Because I want to be comfortable when I'm moving there. I don't want to have to worry about nothing. <laughs> I don't want to have to borrow here, beg, and right. pay here. Like, I don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I wasn't just in a hurry to hurry to get something. Because I learned my lesson closing their eyes. Like, patience is definitely a virtue. You have to have patience mm-hmm. in business. Yes. 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 So, um, may I ask you a personal question? Yeah, absolutely. Which you've been, because uh, you're entrepreneurship all the way around. Mm-hmm. Right. So with you being an entrepreneur and you're seeking to get, you know, this property to have your fourth business, mm-hmm. has it been challenging like with the banks and showing yourself employed and mm. now I guess the hardest part for me, like I said, it was a, a constant of just main to building the credit score mm-hmm. and then maintaining it. Right. Now as far as the funding, that's the easy part. Really? Because once you show the bank that hey, I'm good at paying my bills and I have, you know, money here to show you that right. if I do fall, like I can still catch it back up. So I think showing the bank, you know, just, just that continuity of your payment history, mm-hmm. your credit score, your credit history is really helpful. Right. And what people don't understand is even on your credit cards or your credit limits, it's not so much looked at what you have spent, but what you haven't spent. Mm. They look at how long has she had this money just sitting? Right. You know what I'm saying? So that that's really important. You get a credit card, don't spend a dime. I mean, yeah, I got it, mm-hmm. but I can use it if I want to. Right. But don't spend it. Just right. let it sit there. Because, you know, the banks and all these finance agencies, they look at that. They look at what you don't spend and also what you spend, but more of what, you, what you're not spending. Yeah, what's you're right. responsible, nothing less sit and chill. They, they look at that. So let me tell you, so I went through a process similar to that, and, but their, their concern was I didn't spend enough money. And what you spent the Lord lady. I was like, oh, spend just a little yeah, bit. yeah, but yeah, just I wasn't spending bit. enough money. Right. I'm like, because I, I want it. I don't want to, right. you know, I, I want my safety net. I, I don't want right. to spend it. So, but right. I've heard so many different horror stories as, as an entrepreneur trying to get homes or property mm-hmm. that right. they want to know what your uh, just a girl's income is. They mm-hmm. want to know a lot of information. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. sometimes self employees, listen, self employees, yes. you did your entrepreneurship. Sometimes you can your income could be reported mm-hmm. too low to where it hurts you when you're trying to purchase mm-hmm. certain things like that. So I can, but it hasn't been it hasn't been that bad. And then, like I said, also establishing business credit is is important. Yes. Also. And you can start that, you know, on a smaller level, getting an account like, you know, Uline, if mm-hmm. you've never heard of that. Mm-hmm. That's where you just, it's kind of like it fingers, you know, yes, so yes. where you just order products from them. Now, granted, it is a little pricey than if you went to right. Walmart or Dollar General, but you get to establish business credit and you get to establish those lines of credit. And that's what these companies, you know, look at. They want to see where you've established mm-hmm. credit. Not only established, but maintain credit. Listen, so I like to look at this. Sean is spitting out some knowledge, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you, like, she's spitting out some knowledge. So, she don't have four businesses for any reason at all. You know, she's talking about the process of going to the banks and finding land mm-hmm. and for her for her investing. Mm-hmm. But she's also talking about building a business, building a credit card, mm-hmm. your net 30s accounts. You know, mm-hmm. we can go on the EIN, LOC, Dunn, Red. You can go on and on and on. But she's somebody who I can tell who that who's had made a foundation, has just got out there and just jumped out there and like, okay, like me, tell what I did. I didn't know this stuff. Yeah. I just said I wanna be do it, have my own agency and I'm right. gonna start it. Right. Then I was like, Okay, we have are you registered to stay? Huh? I'm registered to stay. Um, do you have this? Do you have that? I was like, I don't have anything. Right. So it, it hit me in the face real hard. So I had right. to stop to get all that in order. Mm-hmm. So, but you have yours already in order. 
Mm-hmm. And that is good. So that's why I'm hearing things that you your process and you have everything in order. It is. It's, it's really helpful. And like I said, just mainly doing your homework and just keeping that notebook and paper. Mm-hmm. Like you won't believe it. If you see polar bear ice, it's, it's nice now on a fly. But yes. if you see my notebook of polar bear ice when it started two years ago, I literally started with a rectangle on a piece of paper. I started with a rectangle. I will go to every shave ice company from here within a 50 mile radius. I took pictures of that menu. Mm-hmm. Not just, you know, for competition, right. but I want to see, see what, what they doing. have. So exactly. I know some different options I can offer. Like the flavors that I have, we offer 74 flavors. Wow. You know, and we hand mix them all. You don't get that anywhere in wow. Tupelo. I know for a fact, no in Tupelo, not in South Tiller, not within a thicket. You don't get that. That's awesome. They're all that concentrate, that, that ready made mm-hmm. stuff. And so that's what sets us apart is because that extra love is into it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? And, and the flavor and the consistency, everything, it's, it's the bomb. I'm so like, so hey, you, you've done bomb. your research. I have. So a lot of times people want to start a business, they haven't done, done any research at all. Oh, say I want to start this. Yeah. You know, it's like five on right there. Like, I like, like. So, what's gonna set you apart? How are you gonna mm-hmm. give more people want right. to come to you? So it's important right. to, to know that right. your pricing point, yes. knowing who your clientele is, knowing yes. what you're gonna do. All that's is important. Absolutely, it's very I important. Agree. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so if a person wanted to get started, what's the first thing you would tell them? If they want to be an entrepreneur, start their own business, the first advice you will give them from your experience? I would say do what you love. If you're doing it just to make a dollar, stop right now. Mm. That's, that's really it. I mean, if, you, if you're starting a business with the mentality, I just want a business to make money. It's I hate to say it. And I'm an optimistic person. I just hate to see it, but that's, that's failure right there. Because when you're doing something just to make money instead of what you're truly passionate about, mm-hmm. you're, you're going to lose that, that energy. You're going to lose that drive, right. especially because you're focused on money. So therefore, when the money fluctuates, when you're not making no money, oh, you're yeah. right. you don't want to go, right? <laughs> exactly. so you better go to be there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You better go in the town. So that's why you have to really know, like I said, what your purpose is as an individual. Mm-hmm. And you have to know how to operate in your per- how to operate in your purpose for your business also. Right. You know, so if you can't find that connection between the two, you just, you got to find something else. You might just get your nine to five. Not, not saying I'm wrong thing, because I got a nine to five. Exactly. Myself. But you, you might as well just stick to working for other people because right. maybe entrepreneurship isn't for you. And I think we need to get realistic about our capabilities. You know, and yeah, we say, yeah, we can, we can do it, but you need to get realistic and really self disciplined if this is what you want. Right. You know, because we can sit and talk till we blew in the face about, oh, I want to start this, I want to mm-hmm. do this, and oh, I've got to have this, but are you really disciplined to really have it? Are you really disciplined to keep going and keep that drive when you're only making $20 a day? Right. When you didn't make a dollar exactly. this day, or day exactly. are you still going to be disciplined enough to say, hey, this was just a day? Tomorrow, I might make yeah, that, you know yeah. twelve hundred fourteen hundred tomorrow. <laughs> you never know. That's what I'm saying. So you just you have to keep that drive and you have to find your purpose in everything you do. It has to be something that you are already passionate about because mm-hmm. you can easily turn your passion to your revenue. It's, it's easy. I love so it. it. It's natural. Turn your passion to your revenue. Yeah, I love absolutely. it. And you say something about being realistic about right. about the journey, right? right? You, got you know, we can look. For example, I can say, I want me a, a shade ice truck. Yeah. Sean, she, she doing good. I'm going to do what she's doing. <laughs> right. And Sean been doing this for a couple of years, and I'm just yeah. getting started. I'm thinking I'm supposed to be right there with Sean at. It doesn't happen that way. You yeah. got to be realistic about the process. Mm-hmm. And that's, like I said, being disciplined as well. Yeah. Just yes. yourself so when, when when you are the money is falling in, right. you got to say, okay, we got to place this. Because yes. it may be a day where the money is not rolling. Right, know. but it's so, not rolling. Have you had any days like that where yeah, the money is rolling? Absolutely. absolutely. I've had plenty, 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 <laughs> plenty <laughs> days <laughs> where then the dollar roll, okay, wow. where it took more just to open the business mm-hmm. than what I made. Because if we want to talk numbers realistically, it probably takes. I have to fill up the truck. Mm-hmm. I have to fill up the generator. You want fresh products. So mm-hmm. I'm making sure all 74, 74 flavors are mixed up for events, anything that I have. Everything's fresh opposed to, you know, you still got to get all your other products for the right. other stuff on the menu. You know, the nachos, the cheese. You want to break down everything exactly. individually. You know, you have to make sure everything is still up to par. So just by getting it, even open up the door on it, it costs at least two to 300 just to open the door. Mm. So if you're not making at least 600 that day. Right. You're in the hole. You're in the hole. Yeah. 
you can make three hundred, but you ain't made nothing. Mm-hmm. You, you just you can just have to smile and meet some new people, which is also too. But I'm telling you, you got to learn how to take the good and the bad. Because like I said, this is plenty of days. I didn't make thirty dollars. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And, and it took almost three hundred just exactly. to get to the event, exactly. just to fill up the truck, just to fill up the generator. You know, and you go out. But yeah, I still found the purpose in that. You go out to these events. That still, I get to still put a smile on the ones that did come mm-hmm. and be free. I still got to hand out flyers. I still got to make those connections and build a network right. with people that at least came by the way. But still. Exactly. So I still love going and showing up. You know, and then people see the trailer. The trailer's beautiful. Yes. Shout out to Twisted Graphics <laughs> in you know, Columbus and Patriots Vehicle Wraps in um, Memphis. Okay. They did the wrap. And then I took it to Columbus to have it applied. Okay. But I'm telling you, it's just, you really have to be... You really have to focus and you really have to be determined and know that, like I said, it's going to be good days. And right, days. right. Like they all, but it's all going to balance stuff. Right. You just got to keep going. Yeah, you you keep cannot going. give up just because you had a 30 all day. Because I promise you, the 1400 days around the corner. <laughs> it's around the corner. <laughs> this, this is right. Really like, some people give up and like, your blessing is right there. Just, right. It's going to stop because you never right. know when. Something you say is very important and, and I preach this too is you know your numbers. Mm-hmm. Meaning, you know how much it takes to Absolutely. operate. Absolutely. So many people fail because they don't know what their operational cost is. Mm-hmm. Oh, I made three hundred dollars. Well, great. Where did right. you invest? Oh, uh, well, you didn't make right. any money. Right, right. right. And they right. go, they go spend that money right. versus that money go back into the business because you you can't right. spend that money. So knowing your cost up front, right. knowing what's, what's your break even amount you have to Absolutely. make, and knowing what's a surplus. Absolutely. That's how you run a business efficiently Absolutely. and sufficiently as well. Absolutely, I agree. Yeah, so y'all showing is dropping some nuggets. I'm telling, oh my God, we can talk all day about this. this yes. You talking my language. <laughs> yes, yes. yes, so, so now by you working your, your insurance in the mm-hmm. daytime, so do the insurance, do it help fund your businesses or how does it? Does. You, okay. It does. It's helpful. And then, especially like on the days or the weeks that may be slow and I may mm-hmm. not have an event or a session or something booked, then I know I always have. You know, that, that consistent flow. Right. You know, and like I said, I, I genuinely love what I do, so none of it is ever work. Right. You know? And then I have a decent schedule, too. I do 7 and 3.30, so okay. that still makes everything really convenient. It still gives me time to work everywhere else, too. Okay. I like it. It definitely helps find it. Do you feel like you would at some point walk away from it and, and put all your time into a, your business as you get your birthday out? I probably would. I probably would. Um, my goal, like I said, is to get definitely these rental properties up and going because mm-hmm. you know that that revolving income is right. going to be top yes. tier. Mm-hmm. You know, we know that's going to come. Like I said, folks, I always need a place to exactly. stay. Exactly. So we know that's going to go well, and just getting everything off the ground to where it's, it's revolving. And my right. goal really is to step away from everything. You know, my goal is to be in control of my time. Yes. We didn't put here to work ourselves to death. We <laughs> never, you know, get to enjoy or, you know, reap none of the benefits. Like, that's that's not my goal. So, my goal is really to step away from everything. I plan to stay at, you know, Liberty Mutual, hopefully, for the next, you know, five or ten years. Mm-hmm. Get everything established. But, yeah, if I can step away, you know, by 40, I'm, I'm stepping away from the insurance. Wow. I'm going full-time into into everything. And then my, my youngest... She'll be in five years. She'll be what? What's five and five? She'll be 10. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And then my oldest, she'll be about 16, 17. So she'll be able to really work and, you know, be more involved. And hopefully we'll have a good, strong team to where mm-hmm. they can go and, you know, still run it. And I just kind of, hey, how y'all doing? Right, you know, so right. Need anything. You know, so that's the level that, that's my desire to be able to step away within, you know, five years. You know what? I think that should be every person desire at some point mm-hmm. because you know you put all the blood and sweat and tears yes. in the beginning I'm telling you you put it I, I saw a meme it was so funny it said I quit my job to be an entrepreneur now I work more than ever now yeah. right because you never you, you never do. not stop working you're you working do. all the time yeah, yeah. but I found myself at some point I worked so much to where now mm-hmm. I get the enjoyment of teaching others how mm-hmm. to do it versus yeah. me doing it myself yeah. and so and that's how you grow as well you do it's how you grow up like now you're teaching others how to do it and, and gotten your girls involved mm-hmm. so where I can step away and you can just enjoy yeah the freedom absolutely and enjoy someone else flourishing on what the gift that God has given you to bless others with yes I like that yeah so that is what is entrepreneurship is all about yeah. so do you think you'll come up with other businesses I probably will. I probably will. I probably will. Right now, I'm gonna focus on these three. Okay. Like I said, all three of the, all three of them have, you know, they're dear to my heart. Like mm-hmm. they're all. 
kind of personal on different levels mm -hmm. of why I started it and things like this. So I'll probably just stick with these three for now. I'm not okay. saying I'm not opening anything. Yeah, else, I'm just saying. Yeah, definitely these three for now. We're going to see how it goes. So when people say you can't focus on more than one thing and be successful, would you, you, would you agree with that? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like I said, it's, it's really... It got to be in you, either mm -hmm. way. Like, it just, it ain't no way around. It got to be in you. And I feel like as long as you have that drive and that passion, and you know what it is that you want to do, mm -hmm. go ahead, execute. It's, it's time now. Like, never let anyone, because people, people can only see your vision up to their level of perspective. Right. So if they can't see it past, you know, ah, what they done done, mm -hmm. or, ah, you know, stay away from the people. It's, it's you know, exactly. It's it's stay away from right. them all together. Like, if, if my desire is to be a millionaire, I'm trying to get to some means with some more millionaires. Exactly. You know exactly. So surround yourself with the people that you want to become. Not not where you are now, because you stay stagnant. They not motivating you. And that's not the type of energy I want to be around. So I, I say never listen to anyone that says you cannot be multifaceted. You very well can. You know, you can be a boss, mommy. You can be all this good stuff. Mm -hmm. and, and still flourish. Just you can still flourish. You still can do it. It can be done. No way nobody tell you different. A boss mom. I love it. A boss mom. Absolutely. So, you know, I, I was told, well, I read that millionaires, they have a seven stream income coming in. Mm, I can see that. Yes, yeah, seven stream income that. coming in. And so something you mentioned too, you said an uh, income, recurring income mm -hmm. consistently. Yes. Listen, if you can get a recurring income consistently yes. coming in every day or every week or every yes. month. Right. For, for, for doing something you've done one time, right. that's where it's at. It's how you come out of retirement. I mean, you go into retirement real soon. Yeah. Yeah, so, like, for me in this insurance business, I do what I do, mm -hmm. but it's, 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 it's the residual for right. me right. so I can be free right. and, and, and do what I love doing, which is helping others. So, when you get into business and, and want to do entrepreneurship or want to start your own small business... Think about what type of plan that you can develop yourself mm -hmm. that once you get to a point right. in life, say, okay, I've done this, now how can I come with a program to continue to have repeat clients right. or, or that re re residual income coming in where I don't have to work mm -hmm. as hard anymore? Absolutely. So do you have, do you ever, ever have contracts with certain businesses or schools that you can come in every Look at me trying to get some ideas. Look. I know, I know. I just got my mind. Yeah, out. okay. No, I, no, I don't. With the on the photography side, with the schools, a mm -hmm. lot of them you do have it's like a bid that you okay. have, especially okay. Tupelo. And a lot of them, the photographers already had the Tupelo game. So yeah. it was like Lisa Brown. Yeah. You know, before then, it was um I can't remember, uh, Ram Ram photography. Yes, yes. So they had them sold up for a while. Right. You know, and so it's kind of hard to get in on those kind of bids because mm -hmm. they just set out like one price for the whole school. Right. And that's kind of tough because they do have like a full photography team, mm -hmm. whereas it's just, you know. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. So that would definitely be a great idea, though, if I had that team and able to handle that kind of capacity. But as of right now, on the photography side, like I said, I stick to just more of connection on a personal level. Doing your family, doing your parties, your yes. graduations, your weddings. I want to yes. be there. Your receptions, I want to be there. So I think we're going to stick to it just on that level. See, I love that. Because you said, yeah, I could, but I don't mm -hmm. have the capacity mm -hmm. to handle that type of yes. environment. Yeah, so you being realistic yeah. again. <laughs> That was not about being realistic. No, I can't handle that. This is this is my lane. Right. I'm staying right. in my lane. I'm happy with that lane. Right. And if God provides, I grow. Well, God right. be the glory, right? right. But that's right. my lane. So when, when you're pursuing what you want to do, understand your lane, understand your purpose, understand mm -hmm. your business identity, what you stand for, mm -hmm. and you can make money in your own lane, doing mm -hmm. it your way, the way God wanted intended for you to do. You will. Yeah. So, so Miss Sean, it's been a, it's been a joy. Uh, and before we end, is there anything you want to uh, leave a last thing you want to say to our listeners on today? Uh, yeah, I would say, like I said, just just no matter what, keep going. Mm -hmm. You know, no matter the, the negativity, that negative energy, find a way to block that out. You know, once you have a vision, nobody's going to see your vision, you know, because it just it wasn't given to them. Nobody's going to see that. So you cannot let anyone deter you from the vision that was given to you. I don't care if they say, you know, well, I can't see this. Giving that doubt, putting that doubt in your mind. Right. I don't care if they say, well, you know, such and such did this and didn't do well. Or you can't do this. Or what make you think? 
I don't have to think I know. Exactly. Because it was the vision was given to me. Mm-hmm. I can't mm-hmm. make you see my perspective. Mm-hmm. I can only let you know, you know, what the vision is. Right. Now whether you choose to follow or help or whatever, that's on you. But this is a vision. This is my purpose and this is what it's gonna be. Right. So you have to stand firm on those things, your purpose and your vision. And you just have to you really got to keep going. You, you got, got to keep, keep going. going. I love it. Yes. You Write the vision, going. make the plan. Yes. Everybody won't understand. You but it's not me from understanding. God right. gave you the assignment. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, gave it to me. He gave you the So I, I love it. So how can they reach out to you from your photography or from your polar bear? And if you got any type of specials going you want to talk about? Yes, yes. So on the um, same number, I know I need two, three numbers, but I hate all that. It's the same <laughs> number for everything. So okay. same number is 225-716-2404. Again, that's 225-716-2404. Um, you can reach me if you have questions about the photography side. We do have um, a special now with the location sessions. They're 150 okay. and they include, you know, up to an hour session, whole family. It can be a location of your choice as long as it's within 20 miles of the 3801. After that, the mileage fees apply. Uh, but yeah, we're getting those holiday pictures in. You want something outdoors? Now is the time. Even in the cold weather, it still makes a beautiful scene outdoors mm-hmm. with the fall leaves and everything. It's, it's beautiful outside right now. And then on the polar bear ice side, we have a lot of different event packages now that you can look for your parties. We know it's in cold. Don't nobody want to have to run here and there, put everything together. You do not have to do that. We got you covered. We have birthday packages that include goodies for, you know, everyone. We got it to where it can be up to 25 guests, 50 guests, 100 guests. Okay. You choose the option. And everyone gets, you know, hot dog, popcorn, and drink. Okay. So we bring everything. And we still bring the ice for the snow cone. So if they want to add on the snow cone, they can definitely do that too. Okay. But yeah, everything, um, the Pretty With A Purpose, both of them on Facebook. Uh, we don't have an Instagram, but you can follow Pretty With A Purpose Photography on Facebook. Okay. And you follow Polar Bear Ice, Ice and All Caps on Facebook. And I always post about any specials, any giveaways, anything like that. Definitely follow the page and, you know, stay tuned. Good deal. So listen, we got Miss Sean Turner here who is killing it in the game. Oh, she you. you're welcome. She's young, she's a boss mom, and she owns three businesses and do insurance as well. P and C y'all. So I hope this session was able to motivate you, let you know that no matter what vision or goal that you want to pursue Mm -hmm. you can do it like i said just don't stop and if your circle of people don't 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 line up what you believe Mm -hmm. you might need to leave that circle alone and find the right people who can help motivate you and push you because remember millionaires hang around millionaires Mm -hmm. you got it (laughs) that's right so you all it's been a pleasure you all my healthy loves and y'all have a great day bye